In 2019, a small startup in New York wondered, if you reimagined everything about a web browser from the ground up, could that browser be the home for everything that you need? Could that web browser be your next computer? What you're about to watch is unedited footage from a meeting between the browser company's CEO and head of design as they review designs for the library, a section of Arc's web browser that stores your screenshots, files, and downloads. After releasing a beta redesign to a small set of users, Josh and Dustin work through what's left to be done. Sweet. Where to start? What are you most curious about? I can kind of give you a status overview, where we're at and what we're working on, uh, and the next steps, or is there anything else you want to dig into? No, I mean, I feel like last time we talked, it seemed kind of like a layup from where we were. It was like, there was some perf stuff to work out that Alexandra was working on. There are some questions on, should we go the extra mile in some of the UI UX places to really make it sing and bring some of those moments into light? And then there was this yeah. bucket of like, definitely not launch blocking, but do we fast follow for improved utility later? So I guess, yeah. um, I guess I'm just curious, like how you feeling about it and um, what the next step is. Um, so I think the translation of that is, this was one of those projects that was a behemoth and it wasn't supposed to be a behemoth. I think we both really wish that it was like cooler and sexier and had more pizzazz. But then you have to zoom out and go, of all the things we could work on as a company, of all the things we'd have five people on or four people on, is this the best use of time two and a half months later? It's amazing work, it could be better, but we already took X amount of time into it. Do we still feel like that's the right trade-off? Totally. Um, so feeling good. Um, metrics remain strong, just to like grounded in that. Like people continue to look at this more than the old library and look at it more. More people look at it more often than the old library. And they've now been sitting with it for like a month and a half. So the initial spike of like, hey, we go to this every day, it's like faded but it's still tracking higher than current library, which is good. We are not by any means a metrics driven company. I think we still trust product intuition, um, but it's really nice to be informed by the metric. I've been at Browsico now over two years. The company has been around for about three years. Before we, we was like nine of us using the product. So it's just like, cool, Josh, how often do you open that a day? Sweet, I don't open it at all. So that is like a layer to the design process we can bring now. Um, the remaining blocking stuff that Alexander has been digging into, and I can just share my screen because it's something we did not take into account, but is a wonderful learning for uh, when we rev on this thing again, is permissions. So like yeah. we have our screen, these are not final designs, but we have our screenshot section that gives you permission to like look at the screenshots folder on your computer. That's also where you put your captures from ARC. So we were before um, like having a stop sign that would be like, hey, give us permissions, even though you might've been taking captures before. So on my plate is to design, I don't know what it'll actually end up looking like, but probably more of an interstitial that's like, hey, here's all your captures. If you wanna give us access to your screenshots on your computer, you can also do that. This is just a classic. We forgot this edge case when you need permissions, da, 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 da. and so it's like, this is like, I wish someone told me about this work before I got into product development at software companies because a lot of it is not the glory. Most of it's not the glory. It is, uh, you know, some fucking edge case. Nobody cares about, no one's gonna remember, isn't gonna make it successful, but if you don't, do it and nail it like it'll block the success so classic <laughs> not fun but classic um yeah. but that's that's one thing that was uh not caught but has been we've done we fixed engineering this now on the ux side cool and how are you how you think about something like that uh doing that now versus a fast follow like are you hoping to like tie a bow let the team move on from it or uh, or are we okay with something like that? Like I'd feel comfortable releasing with that as a festival, but kind of like mentality wise, how you, how you and Alexander think about it. I didn't feel comfortable doing it as a fast follow because there's such like, this is such like a trust moment. Like, what do you mean Ark is asking for access to my computer? Like, okay. Yeah. And if we kind of like half do that, I want to make sure people like understand like that we're treating this permission really sincerely. So yeah. it felt like let's get all the permission stuff right up front and then not have to like back to it later. It was the thinking with that. Yeah. Um, other thing, which was actually really 
can go jump to a different app, which is random. Um, I sometimes dive into sketch because this is the weirdest thing. I find it sometimes really fast just to screenshot stuff and then like copy and cut out parts of the screenshot and manipulate it. Most of the design work at Browser Co. happens in Figma. And sometimes I feel like sh I will like hide the sidebar and like design crit just to be like, no one, no one needs to know what tool I'm in right now, but it, it's fine. I have no reason to hide it. Surprising to me was we got a lot of feedback that people were missing how to filter your auto your archive huh so we left it out because i i i, I honestly didn't think i designed it in the first place i didn't think many people used it but then we got like numerous people being like turn this feature off for me unless i could do this so we're taking a pass at how to do that problem is this like ui is like nice and simple on its own and then as soon as you start adding like two tiers of filter and it starts turning into like chaos so yeah. i'm working through like just trying a bunch of different ways of doing that but it's like straightforward has memory so when you come back it's really clear what you're looking at again um that will address people's feedback also during this launch we've like added um little arc archiving in here so little arc tabs now end up inside of this thing so like all spaces isn't really true because it's like <laughs> it's kind of like everywhere but then like what if someone saw it dropped down and said everywhere um, yeah. they understand what it meant yeah. so all so down through that the wildest thing about watching this so far is the fact that dustin never told me that my entire like my head and body is cut off like i'm like too self-conscious of a person to like, have self view on so i never see myself but you know like i'm becoming too much of a ceo when our head of design won't tell me that like we are recording a video and we can't see you when you watch yourself or listen to yourself i feel like it's always a little awkward just trying to look past that so and i'm curious like what is he gonna say yeah exactly so curious any thoughts or pushback on any of this or like does this feel like a good thread for us to continue to pull on no nah, I, don't, I don't think i i have any more context than you do so i'm also surprised that people i'm curious if people want to filter down to manual or auto closed when they ask for that it seemed like trying to not read between the lines too much it seemed like it was the auto closed like people coming back in the morning and being like wait what did i yeah. close for me they want to go back and get that yeah um, so there might be a different way of doing this which is like when i come into this thing i see like closed last night or something like that to like maybe shortcut that but i don't want to assume too much of what people want to do um, yeah i mean it, yeah. it's a big surprise it's a surprise to me as well i would say it does especially since it seems like your intuition too it feels worth doing and if anything i think can we use this as an opportunity to save ourselves time later because at some point this year i'm sure we'll have filter by mobile uh, I'm sure we've always talked about like, just show me the videos in my archive. So yeah. we don't want to do that now. And it actually probably won't be anytime soon, but I'd say, Hey, if people want auto closed and manual, can we, if we're going to do that uses an opportunity to build a, a filter that feels scalable in the future. So if we have to add mobile, it's not some big project. It's just kind of right there. Josh's pushback there where he was pushing like, Hey, can we save ourselves time down the road by thinking about this a little zoomed out that's the joys of sharing things like this with people that aren't in the project that was such helpful feedback and actually pushed me i was really struggling with like how do i show this ui not a way that complicates this thing and when i stepped back i was like you know what based on josh's feedback like this ui should probably be scalable to even like the other sections it put me down a way better path and like kind of like unlocked it and like i was in the weeds being like auto closed manually closed how do i show these two booleans that's why we have meetings like this most of what happened in this meeting which is why i'm shocked that we're turning this into a video was mundane unclear we had to have a live session about it you kind of trudge through and you're like why are we talking about this like i even was like i don't have context but then there's like something clicks or like someone says something and then you get some really important riff or insight. Um, and then the final thing that is still kind of what you talked about, like where do we, where do we want to push on the juice or push on the polish or push on the fun? 
um, we think we found a place that's like we can have our cake and eat it too. And that's with the download stuff. Nice. So the feedback that people did not know when downloads started or where to go find downloads. Problem was we didn't do a good job like teaching you like, hey, they're over here now. You can go get them. Um, so I can pull up um, a little mock I was playing with on what we're trying here. I've never heard series. I've been playing with it. It's like I just it was it's the closest thing to flash I could find. <laughs> <This ridiculous. laughs> it's like really, really like the really flash. Um so we I started with the I'd say the hardest case, which is I have no sidebar. I have no top bar like a little arc or anything. And I've clicked to download Nova. Um we'll just scrub through it so you've seen it but what we're thinking is like wherever you click we instantiate like a little squishy like i'm gonna bounce out of there flies <laughs> up and lands and peaks your library that, icon that peak is new that is awesome i studied 3d animation in school um and realized i was much better at the technical side of stuff than like the artistic animation side so i know enough to like mock something like this but people like Omar, Ben, or John, I'm on our team can like really bring this stuff to life, but I can like walk with some broad brush strokes. Classic Dustin, understatement of the century, by far the coolest piece of juice and attention to craft detail we have in the product. Just kind of like, I think we found something. Like Dustin is so humble, it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So hopefully it's like teaching you like this icon is downloads. What happens like in, it will go down we will be a little bit smart that hopefully we can identify like during this animation, how big the file is. And if it's a little tiny file or if it completes its downloads, this would pop down, pull up like a little check. Otherwise this thing will kick around for a little bit. So you actually see maybe a couple notches of progress indication and then it'll zoom away. And then when the download is done, we'll peek it again with like a little checkbox. Nice. Um, so this is it in real time. It's such a great area to add the juice because most people download a few times a week. So of all the area, you know, it's unclear how many times you're going to click on whatever tab, but you don't even have to open the library to benefit from this little moment. Dustin started his career as an engineer at Club Penguin of Disney. Like it's, what he pulls out is, is it still surprises me to this day. When we can really take something that's a two in your day and bring it up to a nine, that's such a huge win, especially since what Dustin said here, this is also educational. So it's not an animation for the sake of making you smile. It's an animation that actually teaches you where downloads go. And as a result of teaching you where downloads go, what the library is for. It's a stash of your stuff on the internet. When you try this thing, if you cannot, if you do not kind of like giggle and chuckle when it happens, which everyone will, you're probably a psychopath. Uh, no, actually, sorry. I want to. I want to cut all of that. <laughs> That's too strong. I also love the word squish. I heard someone say that squish. when clicking the button. Squish. <laughs> squish. It's like the old animation principle, like squash. Yeah, I guess it's squash and stretch, but squish is a little bit more fun. So, yeah. Sherry and I are playing with this. The the fun, if you want to consider it, fun part of this is, you can click a download. Like this could be a download button. Right. So then, like. How where does, How does the animation it go? Right. Yeah, so we have some ideas. We're gonna like dynamically draw the curves, and maybe if it can't go that high, it gets like really close to you, so it looks like it's yeah. coming at you this way. So, cool. um, that and then like just a grab bag of bucks. Those were all the things we marked as like launch blocking and things we should like absolutely get to. And this is like a little bit less launch blocking, but. Yeah. It, when I say we can have our cake and eat it too, it's like both fun and teaching what's going on, which I think is the like dream scenario. Yeah, I was so, going to say, so if we don't have time for this, what is the backup going to be for the download? I think just the drawer. Just, just the drawer, drawer showing up and they're going like, hey, something's loading. Yeah. Which is still fun, which is still nice. How will that work on when you have the sidebar then? It will fly to oh, the button out. directly. Cool. And then it'll be yeah. badged with the progress basically. Awesome. Yeah. So it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. So it's basically like from now until release, perf, some of these edge cases, either edge cases like permissions that we didn't think of or feedback from the members that have been testing it, namely around auto archive and manual sort. And then if yeah. we have time, really juice the download animation.
Um, exactly. Yeah. So I think we tested it with a thousand people and we heard some feedback from the team, but none of it from the testers, which was like, we've actually removed a couple sections. So we removed like documents and desktop and recent all in like hopes to simplify and like chisel it down. I am curious and like not one of the thousand people were like, I'll miss this, but people on the team have. So I think like V2 version is like, okay, first do people like ask for that right away? If so, we can go one of two directions. One, we can just like add more sections in, which could be a little overwhelming. Section option two is like, you can actually like, imagine you can like edit this and they'll start like wiggling like the iPhone screen and you're like, add a new folder. And then you get to choose any folder on your computer, remove these, hide these and like really make this what you want. Um, I think that would be kind of the fun way to go, but obviously it's a lot more work. So we'll have to see based on feedback, what, which direction we go. Yeah. I think the fact that no one has asked for it but the team probably suggests, I think it is very valuable, but nobody uses the library in the way we wanted. So that, so I think it's probably leaving something on the table, but I think it's the right thing to cut. Um, I think it's the right thing to cut. One of the biggest changes in the way that I approach a meeting like this now versus when I was 20 is, I mean, you grow up, you're 20, you don't know who you are, you don't know how anything works. And so you can't help but look to idols or people out there. And so like, I've seen the social network, like, you know, I've watched Steve Jobs on YouTube and you think like, that's what you're supposed to do, which is like, be the defender of purity and like, you know, have strong opinions and like, you're the product visionary. And I think one of my mentors, Jason Goldman, um, was my boss, former board member, a close friend. He used to like, he, uh, poor Jason, he put up with me for so long in like my worst phases. He just, it was, he's like, Josh, you don't need to make a decision in every meeting. You don't need every decision to be the best decision or reframe, sometimes the best decisions are optimizing for something other than what's in front of you. So I think a little more, not pick your battles, but know what the highest points, are. what are the things to go to bat for? Decade ago, I would have been like, well, is that like that glow on that little rectangle? Like, is it perfect? And does it give off the right thought? You know, and now it's just like, know, know what matters, know what doesn't, um, both within the product design itself and just more broadly in terms of team morale, growth and development, et cetera. So know, know what matters, know what doesn't, and don't feel like everything needs to be like Steve Jobs manic about the details. You know, know what details matter in one. Um, cool. couple, couple quick questions. So, I mean, it seems like a buttoned up plan. Uh, how are you feeling about, I think we got like a month left. Are you feeling good about that? I mean, it sounds like on the edge, given the animations, the maybe, but you feel good about it? Yeah, feel good about it. Um, it's a little, just we can, a little design blocked on me right now with like the filtering stuff on archive and the permissions design, but Alexandra and like double pronged it where she did all the engineering work for that through like a generic filter. Um, so once I get through that, which my plan is by like midweek, I think we'll be good to go and share has already started on that download scaffold and for all of that. So I'm cool. feeling good about the month. I guess the only question, last question I have is um, that we have a bunch of ideas for things that we, because I think when we release this, our hope is that you use it a few times a week. And if anything, it's very like calming and clarifying that like, you know where to go if you're looking for X and you always know it's in your library. Um, yeah. And I think we're going to hit that out of the park. I think there's a question of, do we want to aim higher or we do, but when? So, you know, you've tossed out the idea of like, what if you could snooze tabs and they get badged in the library in a snooze tab section? I'm really curious about clipboard managers. They've always been like power user features, but could you have that here? So like, do you think we should think about fast follows or soon thereafter around like really like putting meat around the library? Or do you think, look, our goal is saxophone to a piano, sculpting arc, it's a let's we solved our you know we hit the goal assuming we do let's hold off on new features until we refine the basics or how are you currently feeling about it yeah i think 
all the, the all those things are so tempting to add. It's so tempting to be like, well, what a clipboard history look like in this or seized have. I think it all the work we do has to be a service of just like making art more self-explanatory and like obvious. Um I think the one that would be interesting, I think, is we hear feedback that the sidebar is a little hard to deal with, or you know, I've made a space for my class that I'm no longer in anymore. What do I do with this space? And it just like fills up my sidebar. I do think something like hiding in a space or like archiving a space or archiving a tab could help arc be easier to use because you're able to zip around it more because there's just less there um, and taking advantage of the library. But we would have to, we would have to make a pretty strong argument that like that's more important than like fixing some like core UX yeah. stuff. I can, I think that's a good point, which is like snooze tabs, clipboard manager, something totally net new, probably a distraction right now. If it's something like, hey, I need to get, I'm not using this space, but I don't want to get rid, I don't want to get rid of it because I don't want to lose it. Yeah. That is, I think, that might be like, as you said before, like best of both worlds where we're adding more utility to the library that makes it more essential. As we're thinking about how can a six-year-old walk up to ARC and know, know how to use it without thinking too much, which in general is about reducing complexity, sculpting down the product, refining it to its core, not adding more and more edge case, power user features, dialogues, buttons. And that's a choice and it's not an easy choice. and. It's not binary, it's not always that clear cut, but I think that's the balance we have. We have a fork in the road with notes. I'm actually a power Arc Notes user. I got a ton of notes. They suck. I mean, I don't wanna be too hard on it. Like it's cool, I love the translucent background and it feels like a sheet, you're writing on a sheet of glass. I love the convenience of having them right in there, but it's just, it's buggy, it's hard to maintain, it's not that powerful. It's not clear, you know, it doesn't sync to mobile, you, so it can't replace Apple Notes. So I think, what, but a lot of people use Arc Notes, again, including me, a lot. So we are gonna have a hard fork in the road there. Either we gotta do it right, and you can only do so many things right, as like a tiny startup, you know, facing a thousand person engineering teams at Google and Microsoft and Apple. But that's one that, that has a fork in the road uh, for me, for sure. While also solving another problem. The other one comes to mind is bookmarks. Like people keep asking for bookmarks and like I like I get why, which is it's the same thing as spaces. I want this like random IRS website to do my quarterly taxes. I need every quarter, but I only need it once a quarter. And so I don't want to pin it, but I don't want to lose it and I want easy access. So maybe there's also something with our answer to bookmarks is in your in your library, you have a section of all the really important websites that you need once every six months and you don't want to yeah. forget. So I kind of like that as like TBD, but having an air towards, can we solve a fundamental problem with ARC while enhancing the library versus just like, what's a yeah. net new way to power up the library? Yeah, I, the, the, the bookmarks thing scares me because I don't want people to like throw stuff to the library. I don't want them to be like, do I pin this or do I bookmark this thing? Yeah. Like, I would maybe love for a good command bar ranking. Yeah, yeah. Or like, yeah, there's, there's some thread because we, People clearly are like not grokking what we've done. So there's some with pin tabs all the time. So there is something there, but it, I, I don't want it to be bookmarks. No, I know. I know. Me either. Um, okay. Last thing, uh, just like play in the back of your head, I thought about over the weekend was um, I think, as you know, part of what we're doing with Boost right now and just in general is we want, we're sort of as a company saying no to the idea of a general purpose browser. And we want ARC yep. eventually to feel like it, it's like a tailor-made piece of clothing that fits to you. Uh, and so the only way to get there over time is to expose APIs and, and parts of our uh, product to developers and community members so they can build stuff on top of ARC. And there's sort of this question of what and when. And so we've mostly done that with Boost so far um, based on extension APIs. And we've done that a little bit with like theming your own space. But one thought I had on the clipboard manager and snoozing is there's such no-brainer ideas and it feels like it would be such a distraction for us to do that because there's like an endless number of utilities. I wonder what the library would look like as a developer platform. If you could imagine like to your point of wiggling, like imagine if as a developer, you could have a tab in the library, a branded tab with an icon, and then you get, I can't point to it, but where screenshots are right here, that's your blank surface uh, to the right. 
Like that entire thing to the right, that's your app. And then on top of that, we give you notification badging permissions like you do on iOS. So, you know, you have to get permission, but you could badge the library entry point when there's something because, man, there are people that make great clipboard managers or like really good at snoozing tabs or to-do lists. Like, is there some way, maybe like, you know, your sidebar is your sidebar and, um, you know, you're kind of working set. And obviously the web contents is the web and the thing you're working on. What if the library was the place that you could add all these little mini apps, some made by Arc, like Space Manager, and some made by other people like Clipboard Manager. And that's actually the development platform because Chrome doesn't let you touch any surfaces like that. Um, and it's kind of enough realist. It has all the primitives of the developer platform. It has a big surface area to actually make an application, but a blank canvas to make it look like whatever you want. It has like, an app entry point and like an app switcher in the library that has notifications and badging. But at the same time, it's not like intrusive and like clogging up your already busy sidebar. So obviously this isn't a feature, but like, yeah, like what could an architecture firm like make their own little like mini app for all their employees that like gets added to your library that hooks into whatever client CRM thing they, I don't know, that makes architects sound boring. I have no idea. You can always rely on Josh for having tons of ideas and always sharing his ideas, which I think makes him such a fun CEO to work with is because he's not just like, I don't know, what do you think we should build? He's like, what if this, what if this? And it's always like very engaged and he's very passionate about it. And um, on the flip side of that, he also does a very good job of being like throwing stuff out, but knowing we're not gonna build all of it. So it wasn't surprising to hear Josh like suggest future scope for this thing or future um, ideas for this. Um, in the back of my mind, there's a spidey sense that like, you know, in design critique, when we're showing this and when we're iterating it on, it's like, are we adding a hamburger menu to art? And like, now that we have this surface, there's been conversations like, well, we could stick that in the library. And it's like, well, the library can't have everything on it because then like we chiseled things down to make it more crisp. Now we can't just blow it up. So I think we can absolutely increase the value of this, but just like the spidey sense was. Um, yeah, Ooh, sticking true to what the goal of this thing was, was to simplify and uh, sculpt and condense. Um, and if we want to have architecture firms stick stuff in there in the future, let us just be really intentional about that. But like, let's keep those ideas going because that might spark a different idea, so. I have 90, no, I have a hundred percent confidence that in 10 years, Arc will be, it's like iOS. Arc will be a bigger deal as a development platform for applications to sit on top of it. Especially once the internet computer plays out across all the different platforms. Like Arc will be a developer platform at its core. I'm in not, we're not in a rush to get there. And it's unclear where do, is it, is it, uh, are they mini apps in the library? Is it replacing web apps themselves? Are they kind of like workflow power-ups, like macros across? Are they more like, I'm, I'm, I'm much more agnostic to the specific entry point. This is a 10 out of 10 confidence that Arc as a development platform is gonna be the thing eventually. It is a five out of 10 confidence that the library is the right surface, but it was like, I never thought about that before. And it was sort of like, oh wait, maybe it's this. Um, that's and cool. Food, that's, food that's, thought, that, but I'll have over the weekend. That's cool. I never thought about the library as like a, a dev a dev place. It makes me think of like the little library badge in the sidebar is like all controlled by stuff you're doing, but like it could be like voodoo, like architecture firm, some you know what I mean, like new blueprint added, and like you're like oh something got added to my library for me, like go open it and see it or like shared blueprints that like we all use or something like that. That could be, that's very cool. Yeah, it's just somewhere in between, like it's not a full-fledged web app. Like, especially if you could like, you know, no one needs another development platform, but is there a type of tool that you could build here? Because one of the things you have access to is you can drag and drop, you know, there's a relationship between a web page and this app. Um, and so are there things that you could build under the eyes of like utilities or tools to augment what you do on the internet? that you could build as a full web app, but the fact you don't want it as a web app, you want it to complement a web app. And like I, Chrome extensions are the closest, but they're so limited. Anyways, not for now, but um, cool. that is a, you know, 
It does feel like snooze tabs are a no-brainer. It does feel like a clipboard manager is a no-brainer. It does feel like really great image search if you're a designer is a no-brainer, but like we can't build all of those and image search isn't gonna be great for everyone. So like maybe there's a way eventually to open it up as like, that's where the mini apps live. Um, yeah, I think that. That'd be fun. Cool. Anyways, uh, no. awesome. Well, I'm gonna stop recording, uh, but I'm excited about this. Oh.